hi subscribers hi viewers uh beijing is actually easing its covid uh lockdown restrictions so what's happening is uh today my knees actually they are hurting so much that i failed to run just even a few meters so i decided to cycle and thought uh what an opportunity i can do just to cycle around and film what it's like around the city so as you can see people are getting up it's around 6 a.m actually it's 19 past 6 a.m and uh i am cycling amongst other people just for myself is exercise and for other people i guess they must be heading back to work and uh i've left the area where people really was exercising and uh cycling for exercise so we're just going to cycle for as long as we can because it's been a while i say the last few days i've not had a proper run and my knees are hate are hating at the moment so i'll try to keep fit uh while we're waiting for schools which are opening uh high schools i understand these are the ones which are going to open first uh, so that kids can take their exams uh, restaurants you can now dine in but i contacted my gym yesterday and they said uh we can't um i can't come to the gym because the gym is still closed i could have actually made a turn and went into a park but i'll keep on cycling so that we can see what's happening uh with people commuting in the morning this is what you see around the parks and uh, people are exercising trying it's mainly all people trying to keep fit i used to live in a community around here I used to live uh, in a community around here. It's closed the entrance. Anyway, uh, we're heading towards the Tower Renting Park, which used to be uh, my main subway station when I used to go to. Uh, seems like the school is open actually. So, this used to be my main subway station. Uh, towering train station yeah I remember it brings back some old memories and when I left around here yeah, that building behind was not yet constructed it was just a field and there used to be a cake shop uh, on the right so yeah it brings back all memories cycling here yeah. And the few shops that I used to go to. This used to be a cake shop. I used to ride a business meeting. I bought some cakes there. And uh, that was before I had my daughter. So, anyway, I just want to show you what a morning in Beijing is like because it's been a while since I've done these morning videos. One thing I'd like to say in Beijing, which uh, I'll advise people to use the subway mainly. Like I was saying, if you are new in Beijing, or you are a tourist, or just visiting a student, or anything, or you come over uh, for business, you know, you realize uh, Beijing is much more congested unlike other small cities or other cities that I know. So I'll advise you to know your nearest subway station and the direction to your hotel or wherever you live. So this makes it easy in the sense that uh, if you get lost, you just jump on the subway. Because there's so many buses and not most of them will take you close to where you live. Another COVID testing facility. People are queuing already in the morning. 
and I need to get my COVID test today. So if I can't get any COVID tested around, I'll have to come around here because I need it done today, definitely. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is getting lost is tricky because if you get lost, it might be difficult. Like uh, the first time I got lost, I could not find anyone who could speak English. But like enough, I found uh, a subway station which I only had to change once and it took me to where I was going so I advise you just know your nearest uh, subway station and uh, if you can't find a subway station just use your phone to find one and uh, just take a bike and cycle to it it makes it easy yeah this place brings some memories if we cycle, keep on going straight, we're heading towards the city center of Beijing. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to turn uh, left, proceed left, and uh, Kaishikau. There's a subway station before the one I used to use to get off, but now I'm using a different uh, subway line. That's the line for. That's the line for. Chaorinchin Kaishiko is a is a, is a line for. It takes you to a lot of places with a cow and uh, the other side of the city center. I need to turn. Yeah, I need to turn left so I can start making my way back. I said I need to turn left. Actually, I need to turn left. I just left early before the traffic light was open in my direction so that we can get a better view of what it's like. Remember, it's 6 in the morning, so it's less busy. Some people are heading to work and some people are going on about their business. But uh, it's not yet business hours, so you, there's not much traffic. And uh, just one funny thing I want to say while it's the cycle before I make a decision of uh, if I need to make the next turn or not. You know in Beijing, what I'll tell you, there's another park over there, so we can just go into a park. There's parks everywhere. There's parks everywhere. So, And uh, the, the, the city is green. The city is green. So it shows it's environmentally friendly. There's greenery everywhere, trees, and it's not like some other places where I know that you can't find any tree at all in cities. Here, each and every spare space that they can find, you'll find uh, some fruit, some fruit trees. There's a lot of fruit trees. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to say is the other thing about. Uh, Beijing subways is there's always in most cases I can say above 90% of all the subway stations that I've been to there's four exits and four entrances so if you're new in the area you need to know which exit you can use although all the exits and entrances they just on the opposite sides of the streets or the roads but it's better because you don't want to find yourself in a new environment where you don't know which uh, direction to take so you need to know which direction to take and uh, where you are going this guy is doing actually a beautiful thing running while he's pushing his bike so you can see it's getting a little bit more busier more busier as you cycle along but within the next few hours I understand a lot of people are getting back to work so it's going to be more busier so like as you know i'm only doing this for exercise uh not to really film and show you exactly what beijing is like i was doing this for exercise because i can't run today
do you know over there there is Jiaozi uh, uh, Wutongs uh, Wutongs are neighborhoods uh, I'll take you there sometimes you know the old Beijing uh, areas or properties that uh, you, don't, you don't get to see it's like hidden communities so if you want to live to experience the old Beijing housing uh, I'll, I'll take you to, to those areas and show you exactly what they're like and yeah you see he had someone speaking there that's what all most Chinese people do in I was uh, cycling past a school over there and I had to stop filming it seems like schools are now open mainly high schools so I had to stop filming just not to disturb because there was a lot of police around the area Yeah. I remember cycling down the street uh, a few years back trying to look for a Western Union to cash out my money and you have to know not all post office here you can cash out your foreign currency at Western Union there is some that will do the services and there is some that won't but the worst experience is when I went to Tianjin, I couldn't get served at all. So I wish I had shown you the other exits for this station. I've never used this station. Oh, I don't know what line, train line goes over there. Another medical university hospital over there on my right. You see, like I say, if you watch this video, I would have been uh, past one, two, or uh, five subway stations. I would have been past five subway stations, and we'll continue to cycle past a few more subway stations. Now we start seeing buses. Yeah, like I was saying, I would have been uh, past a few subway stations. Like I say, if you get lost in Beijing, just try to make sure. If you knew in Beijing and you don't know which direction to go, just know you're near a subway station. Because there's so many buses that you'll be going completely the opposite direction. While it's the, uh, the subways, they take you. You only need to change maybe once or twice maximum if you're in a rush just to find the a faster route oh the people you see in yellow uh these people are to help uh the elderly or young kids or whatever it is myself i've been helped quite a lot by them uh, to help uh, people board the buses so that you get in safe and uh, you get no issues they're only there for just a few hours really uh, they're there in the morning and they're in the afternoon like mainly when kids go to school or when kids come back from school they are there to help with um, with commuting, boarding the buses and getting off the buses.
I'm sure you'd have seen this street uh, quite a few times. Not this part, but uh, the other part on my older videos. So I suggest you subscribe to the channel so you can get used to watching life, people life in Beijing. Or people exercising, those are, you find those exercising fitness facilities uh, next to community buildings. So the next to communities so that people can just wake up and exercise. Uh, mainly you find all people there and uh, all people, their favorite sport I'll say is Tai Chi. Okay, I've got something interesting up ahead of us. Up ahead of us. Uh, I want you to take a look uh, over there across the street. You will see all people they're standing in front of this building. They're exercising in the morning. Just some fitness. And trying to keep fit. It's rare. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, in China, that's when I really started to realize a lot of old people doing some exercises. Maybe it's because of culture or just the living or the lifestyle. Because here yeah, the communities are congested like uh, large numbers of people live in a in a community but you don't see this anywhere else so you're more likely to see them than in other places and uh, other countries so I can say it's good for them really and those facilities the exercises the exercising places are provided by the government I wish I should have took the street but anyway let me go ahead and try to show you some other places that you haven't seen before we'll try to explore a little bit of Beijing so that you get to see a lot of stuff and a lot of places Okay, another COVID testing facility here. Uh, and the other thing is on every, mostly in all the roads and uh, all the streets, if you go, regardless whether this one direction, if you go on the far right, you will find a cycle lane. So it's always how uh, cycling friendly is a country which encourages uh, a cycling community and it's, it's it's good it's fit because today sorry it's good exercise and to keep you fit not it's good it's fit it's good exercise to keep you fit like today my knees were hurting seriously but i wouldn't have missed uh just trying to exercise because my knees were hurting and i've managed to do it the easy way that looks like some kind of another testing facility, but I doubt because it does not have a tent. Yeah, now I'm now convinced that uh, the lockdown restrictions really are over because a lot of people are on the streets and they're out. I remember when I used to do my morning runs uh, sometime just for the last few days of the month because it's been over a month, one month and a couple of uh, one month, one week. You know, these streets would have been empty, far empty. People waiting for the bus. Like you see behind there, the people dressed in yellow. Those are the people who are going to help make the people board the buses. You will find them on each and every bus stop.
but thank you for watching this video I've got to stop it here another some other testing more testing COVID testing facilities uh, I'll have to stop this video here uh, thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe to the channel uh, like the video and uh, leave the comment as I show you exactly what it's like in Beijing the life after lockdown